your high chest area, 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 yeah, oh, okay. Oh shit, I have no notes. Fuck. Oh boy, I'm fucking, uh, what can I do with one arm, people? God damn it. Anyways, yeah, hi everybody, alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, give me two seconds. Oh boy. Oh. Fuck. Okay, so, oh boy, a little bit, a little, ah, oh, fuck, that's not how you freaking start a show, whatever, I'm, I, I can't just turn off the camera, I have fucking, like, it's hard, my life is hard, um, but you know what, again, I never let, I never hibernate, I never gonna take a break, it's nation, you know, I'm Zubair, I'm here, I'm never, Queer. I'm never gonna take a break, especially when I have a fucking goddamn broken collarbone. So, yeah. So we're gonna make it work, people. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna try to review the shit out of this pay these fucking shows. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your late night SmackDown and Gay W Dynamite review. Um, I fell asleep during this show. Or SmackDown, and I will say, like, goddamn, like Friday night, <laughs> and you're falling asleep. I mean, technically, I'm I'm also falling asleep because of fucking the pain I'm dealing with, and I it's hard to freaking sleep properly, in terms of freaking, just <sighs> what happened to me the past few days. But for real, like, did this show ain't giving making you excited one bit? I got excited watching the fucking Santa Claus on television more than this on ABC Freeform. God, what is Freeform, by the way? So there was, like, showing the Santa Claus movies on um, ABC Family or Freeform. So that was, like, more exciting to watch than this shit. So, and then, yeah. All right, anyways, grab your Coca-Cola, or whatever the fuck, drinking my news is there. And, yeah, let's talk about wrestling. Because that's something definitely I want to probably apparently do when I have to fucking deal with pain. You see, fucking wrestling. Wrestling show should make you freaking happy. Or it just should brighten your day. Like any other day. Like, if you had a hard day at work, a hard day at school. Or whatever. Just a hard day in general. Like, fuck. Like, a show is supposed to make you happy. This show ain't make, bringing people smiles, as they say. Or make you happy. Or these shows in general, it's not just SmackDown. Oh shit, oh shit, it's not making you want to make bitches and big black couch make them go, oh shit, oh shit, cheers. Hi, yeah, yeah. But yeah, these, these shows are terrible. Both gay W and fucking, uh, what do they call it? Fucking gay W and freaking what's that show? Play SmackDown, god damn it. What's AEW shade in the world, guys? Oh my god, this is hard. Ah, fuck. Okay. Okay, guys, so the show started with Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. Uh, okay, so Paul Heyman, the use of crowning Roman Reigns. Reigns says he doesn't care for the crown, he only took it last week because he could. Then Xavier Woods comes out. Wood says mater those material objects doesn't make him a king, but it, it, what a king is about what the king does for the fans. Cause I had the fans. Then Roman and the Uso destroyed the king's materials, and they attack R Woods as he tried to. And then basically Reigns destroys the crown. Not to a terrible idea, so it's not a terrible thing, you know. But like seriously, <laughs> like. Okay, we gotta talk about this. The fact that apparently last week was Reigns' first loss is so fucking retarded. And apparently that counts. The first guy to defeat, defeat Reigns in any... I understand it's by disqualification, but that's the most retarded thing I've ever fucking heard of, okay? Xavier Woods. You know? Like, even... Even Biggie's a goof as a WWE champion. Like... What fucking WJ said was genius. Even if, let's say, you do this thing like Brock Lesnar shows up and interrupts fucking Reigns and Big E, that would make his reign, like, you know, that would actually make him fuck. Wow! Big E defeats Reigns and pins him. That makes him a 
somewhat credible champion, right? Even though, again, the bill for both is, the bill for Biggie is champ is retarded. But at least that would help him at least at least a little bit. But whatever. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, then the first match, I believe. The first match, and wow, they have the old Survivor Series logo on, on here. I'm just thinking to myself again, a lot, like, Survivor Series is so retarded. If you, like, come on, there's so many ways you could have done the Survivor Series thing. Again, I saw, like, a good idea. Like, if you want to do a Survivor Series match, like, a Survivor Series tag match for, like, uh, just in general, you just base it on a feud, not this stupid Raw and SmackDown thing when both shows are fucking run by Adam Pierce supposedly and Sonya Dykeville and apparently they have favoritism which teams it makes no fucking sense it really doesn't and again like there could be like for, for example imagine maybe what you could have done you could have done team reigns versus, versus team Big E as much as I would love to see at least cha uh, like a championship match or at least just something like that's at least a Survivor Series. Same thing with fucking Becky Lynch and Charlotte. Like, that would make sense, especially their feud. They base it off something. I don't fucking know. It's really not that hard. But again, freaking, or heck, you know, Team Lesnar versus Team Reigns. God, wouldn't that be something? And if you were still doing the feud, Edge, Team Edge versus Team Rollins to lead to freaking. Maybe instead of their Hell in Soul match being in Crown Jewel, they could have done their final match at Hell in Soul match in like a December pay per view or heck, even fucking the 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 January pay per view, which is gonna be before the Rumble. But whatever. This is how we would have done it, but you know, just to keep something people intrigued, you know, fucking Survivor Series should be like the good guys versus the bad guys. That's some dissension between the good guys and the bad guys in a fucking team, okay? This is so retarded. It's so stupid. I just think Survivor Series, again, like, go back to the old format that you guys are doing. Like, again, Survivor Series should be something like, you know, something cool to watch. Thanksgiving, before, you know, pre-Thanksgiving, even though Survivor Series originally was a Thanksgiving Day tradition thing, whatever. And, you know, just enjoy watching wrestling. Good guys versus the bad guys. And also freaking some, at least a little bit of championship matches like they did back in, you know, the 2000s and 1990s, you know, or the late 1990s. Come on, like, it's not that hard, really. Sheamus defeats Ricochet, Cesaro, and Jinder Mahal in a fatal board match with some help from Rich Holland to get the last spot in the SmackDown Man Survivor Series team. I really didn't give a fuck. I was kind of like, oh, you know what I mean? And then Rich Holland, I think it was, I don't even know what's which, which before or after. Rich Holland says, Sheamus is my idol. And if it wasn't for Sheamus, I don't know how he sounds. I don't, don't fucking care. You're my, he's my idol. If it wasn't for Sheamus, he would be still. I would be still in England fighting bums in the street for money. Uh, I declare that anyone who has a problem, they will have a problem with me. This is. This looks like a gayer version of Trish Stratus and Mickey James. I, I'm seriously getting Mickey James and Trish Stratus vibes. Like, are are you gonna try to do some LGBT shit with this? Like, really? It was. Good with Mickey James and Trish did it, because at least they're women. And again, it's a male down. Who the fuck wants to see gay shit going on? I understand they probably are not going to do it, which I'm... I, I, obviously, that's the logical thing. They won't. But I'm getting that fucking vibe. Because for God's sake, that's what you're kind of ripping off that storyline. You're ripping off Trish and fucking... Trish and Mickey. What are you doing? Uh, whatever. Shayla Baszler and Nettie Nightfart defeated Naomi and Aaliyah after the referee Daphne, or whatever the fuck she is, fast counted for Nettie Nightfart. People saying the Hartford store a screw job. Uh, who the fuck? So they really did like a screw job thing for what? You know? I, I don't even know. I don't care. I uh, help me. I was. Thank God I was like. You know what I mean? Sonya Dykeville announced that there will be a 25-man battle royal uh, for Survivor Series for some dumb reason. And believes Sami Zayn can win it and edge his name. Edge his name. 
Yeah, I don't know. Unless they're spoofing that idea that Ed is going to be in it or The Rock. Because here's the thing. They said they she believes Ed, uh, Sami Zayn can win and edge his name in Survivor Series history along with The Rock. Uh, oh, yeah. So they're sup supposedly doing something about The Rock. Even though The Rock is most likely not going to be there. Like, they're honoring him and having wrestlers to try to get over, like, dressing up as him and shit. Like, like there's no point. You could just mention it, but for God's sakes, like, what a, what's the point when he's not going to fucking be there? I don't know if this, like, uh, I don't know, fuck. I'm telling you, you need Edge more than ever, man. <laughs> like, you need Edge on fucking Raw and SmackDown. You need, you need these wrestlers. They can't just be part-timers. Give them the extra money. You're saving the money? You, again, fire, if you need to do more releases, fire them and give them all to Edge and Lesnar and shit like that. And have me on more shows. That You need them. Fuck. Jeff Hardy defeats Madcap Moss with the roll-up. Oh, you know, that's also what they're doing. They're ripping off fucking Shane. They're doing... They're ripping off the Madcap Moss and Baron Corbin thing with some... Somewhat Lee. To help for the Seamus Ridge Holland shit, but whatever. But Jeff Hardy defeats Bad Cat Moss for some reason where it'll roll up and I don't know why this match happened. I really don't care. I was passed out. Drew McIntyre helped Jeff Hardy apparently, but you know, I really don't care. Nakamura defeats Angel. I I woke up like during this and then I fell back to sleep, so and I was like, What the fuck am I watching? Like, huh? Actually this one also makes me sleep because fucking I saw Fucking Sasha Banks was talking to his son. He says, you know, whatever happens, or, or I don't know, shits, or whatever the fuck she was talking to, Sonya Dykeville. She's probably fucking them. I don't fucking know. She's a dyke. What do you expect? Freaking, she was telling them, oh, whatever you do, leave it and uh, don't let it affect you, survivors. Who the fuck cares? Like, who the fuck cares? Like, shut the fuck up, you cunt. God damn it. Just go on a big black couch, get railed. <laughs> I don't fucking know. So Sasha defeats Shits Blackheart. After the match, they shake hands for some reason, but S Sasha takes out Sh Shotzi with a fucking backstabber, and who fucking cares? Ah, uh, there's gonna be a little more dissension between the Safari series women. Like, who the fuck cares? Dude, seriously, shut the fuck up. These are all the jobbers that are announced for fucking. Wait. What is this? On a pre show or something? Stop. I don't know what this is like. Look at this. They're, this is all of them. Only, like, AJ Styles is, like, the bigger name here. The fuck? Holy shit. A lot of jobbers. Ziggler's in there. Fucking... S S fucking Shelton and S fucking Eccentric. Bobby Roode. Jinder Mahal. Fucking uh, his sh sh stinky. Uh, Sami Zayn. Umberto and fucking Angel. Uh, Apollo... Apollo Cruz. And was it a commander is these? Then Ordis, Chad, Chad Gable, the Viking Raiders, uh, Art Truth is there. Then Drew Gulak, Styles, and Amos, fucking Ricochet, T Bar, uh, Mansoor, Cesaro, and the Street Profits. My God, what the fuck is this? This is not even exciting at all. Then Xia Lee, who's basically just a heel version of M fucking Mulan. So it's M even Mulan, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Xia talks about her father suddenly died and got tossed out of her home by the landlord, only for Xia to beat him up. Xia says vultures will never get her family again, and she is the fa her, her father's daughter and the protector. Why? Is she a face or a he? I don't even get this shit. I don't get it. I don't care. This is just fake. Like, oh, I I I'm I'm samurai. I'm a I'm Mulan. I don't know if I'm a bad girl or a, or a nice girl. Like, shut up. Ooh, Tony Storm. She looks pretty good here. But then fucking see a She-Hulk. Tony Storm uh, says she wants a match with Charlotte again, or uh, like like last week. It's basically the last, like same thing as last week. Then Ric Flair Jr. comes out and says after she mopped the floor with Becky Lynch at Survivor Series, Tony will be next. And she would do what she would do to Becky on Sunday. Again, I would rather... Like, if you're going to do this... You barely had fucking them interact since the fucking stupid championship. It's shit. It would help. At least they interact. Like, 
At least they're doing something like that with Biggie and Reigns. Like, I don't know, they're doing something to at least build up. I don't know, even though it's so retardedly. But for God's sake, and again, you really don't need two titles. It would be great if they combined the titles. You had a chance at 35, and then you fucking decide to fucking have the titles be on their own. Like, it's so retarded, but whatever. Then Xavier Woods comes out in the end of the show, says, Last week, he has hit a, he hit a limit break. And had Roman pinned, uh, but his cousins had to help, which again makes Roman look weak. Roids claims that Roman knows he can he can defeat him, that he can't defeat him one on one. Then Roman comes out, he confronts Woods backstage. Biggie attacks the Usos and toss him out of the ring. Surprise! Oh, Biggie's on SmackDown. The battle has been drawn or something. Well, I don't know. And the fucking Biggie gets in the brawl with fucking Roman. The Usos join the brawl, but then it, Woods helps out well, Biggie a little bit. And then Biggie stands tall when Reigns just basically runs away. And uh, I mean, I guess it's something, but like, who really cares? It's not that exciting, really. Biggie versus Roman and champion versus champion match. I don't know. I don't really know. Like, it would be probably a bit. I I wouldn't like. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't care at this point. I can't really say anything like, like, oh, what they should have done. I don't care. Like, this is just a match that's happening. It's really like, the thing is, I would rather if like, there was a proper build up for this, you know, and say like, oh, I'll see you Survivor Series back in like, cause they already were gonna do this anyway since like September when they had the Big E and Lashley thing. But like, I don't know. I don't know. So that happened. Now let's move on with fucking Rampage. And Rampage kicks off with Billy Gunn versus Darby Allen. And then Darby Allen defeats him after the match. The club gun. The gun club? What the? How many clubs are they? Fuck, bullet club. The gun club defeated. Uh, or they attacked Darby and Sting. Fucking B Billy Gunn in 2021 is feuding with Sting. This is like some TNA shit. Didn't they fucking have like a magic. Against each other in TNA, or didn't they interact with each other in TNA? Like, the fuck? I don't know. You know what the sad thing is? Fucking Billy Gunn is a bigger name than fucking goddamn, um... What's his fucking name? Fucking Darby Allen. Or whatever. And Sting is getting beat up on fucking Rampage. God damn it. Why is Sting getting beat up? Can fucking Sting be a fucking legit fucking legend and fucking kick ass? Why is he getting beat up all the time? God, you have him on fucking the show. Fuck. Seriously, Sting is on the show. He's honestly a better wrestler than a lot of these guys. Why isn't he on the, like the main title picture? You want ratings? Give him the title or have him be like number one contender. Why is it all these fucking jobbers? Fuck. QT Marshall challenges CM Punk to face him in his hometown of Chicago next week. Until he's scared that, unless he's scared of QT will embarrass him in front of people. Like, why? Why? What's the reason for this? Oh, I just want to have a good match. Like, what's the reason for him challenging him? Like, it's not for a title. Just, it's just stupidness. There's no story for this. What the fuck? Then Jade Cargill defeated Red Velvet to announce uh, to advance to the TBS tournament shit and no one fucking cares. AEW announces Winter is coming and will return on December 15th in Texas. Windham is coming, guys. Who the fuck is? What kind of name is a Windham? It's a shit name. People want to think that. Oh, that, that's yeah. Winter is coming so lame, but whatever. I don't know. Eddie Kingston versus Daniel Garcia is announced for next week's Rampage in Black Friday. People ain't go. You know what's gonna be black? The fucking TV screen, because no one's gonna fucking watch this shit. Jurassic Express defeats Adam Cole and Bobby Fish after Cole leaves Fish behind. Um, what the fuck? Th this is a legit sign. What the fuck? These are, these are, these AEW fans are gay. You can take a cowboy shit on my chest. Go fuck yourself, you fucking faggot. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Next week's Black Friday, and the only thing that's gonna be black is the TV screen for fucking Dynamite or Rampage. Someone's gonna fuck it. God damn it. Um... Yeah, this that yeah, Rampage is basically just a fucking stupid garbage ass blowjob, right? Just a quick blowjob. A quickie. But quickie garbage, you know, it's a garbage version of a quickie. 
It's ba yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Just jobber shit going on in, in Rampage. Um, so yeah, the Barber Series, huh? It's this Sunday and I really don't care. I really couldn't give a fuck. I'm, I'm sorry. Crown Jewel was so much better than this. Like, what? Like, I, I understand. Like, listen, I every pay-per-view should be exciting. But you literally, like, come on. This is supposed to be on your big four. And, you, well, you, sh you should have, okay. It's not like you could do one. You know, the matches you done that for Crown Jewel, you should do on Survivor Series. And then you could just have had, like, a five-on-five -five with the faces and heels. That's something you could have done. Why is Crown Jewel and Saudis getting the better shit? You know, because I, I, at least, like, you know what? That's kind of the good thing. I, I'm not against the Saudi shows. I know it's, like, the woke thing to do to be against the Saudi shows for some dumb reason. Even though they're having the women on the show, you fucking retard. But, like, what's, like, the big deal? Like, it's fucking, it's no different than Insurrection and shit like that. But, like, doing the, all the special shit there, like, come on. Wh why not actually have some entertaining shit for us for fucking Survivor Series when it's a big, for, bigger pay-per-view, for fuck's sakes. I don't know. I don't know. Fucking Survivor Series should have Reigns versus Lesnar. Or Team Reigns and Lesnar, at least. Or fucking Team Usos versus Team New Day. I don't fucking know. Fuck, five on five. It's not that hard. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm tired. Fuck both shows, okay? And fuck Survivor Series. Nothing to really look forward to. Okay, really. It's just gonna pop. Like, what's gonna happen after these shows? It's gonna be the same shit over again. It's not like any stakes involved and shit like that, okay? Alright, people, I'm just keeping it real. Get, drink your coals so nice sleep. Get your gains. And that's why it makes some bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. Get your gains in honor of me because I can't get my gains this this week or for a while. So, work out in honor of me, people. Cheers. And that's why it makes some bitches go, oh shit, oh shit, on the big black couch. Alright, people, until next time, peace. Yeah, bye. <sighs> <laughs>